Welcome to Techie Jack. In this video, we will see how to install IIS with PowerShell with a similar feature to the Plus. Therefore, we will also see how we can add other feature later. So let's go to the server and get started. So right now we are on our server and if we see the version, it has installed Windows Server 2022 Data Center Edition. And the server name is Server 2022. So if we go to the server manager, and in order to install the IIS, we need to just click on add roles and feature, click on next, next, select the server from the server pool and the IP of the server is 12.100, click on next. From here we will select this option, web server IIS and we will add the feature like include management tool, you can add this feature, click on next and you can select this option as well, IIS hostable web core. But we are not going to do it in this way. We will try to install it through the PowerShell. So let me cancel it. Let me open the PowerShell. We need to run this commandlet and we'll hit enter. This will install the IIS feature just similar to the Plesk. It is installing. I will provide this commandlet in a description. It is completed 90%. So now it is installed and you can see the restart required no. And inside our server manager, we can see the IIS here. You can see the IIS is installed now. If we run this command let get windows feature web where installed state is equal to installed. It will display the feature we have installed. So these are the feature which are installed. As we can see we have a static content compression. We do not have a dynamic content compression. If we want to install it through the graphical way let me show you. You can just go to the add role and feature. Click on next. Again next. Select the server. We will expand this. And inside the performance, if we expand this, you can see the dynamic content compression is not installed. If you want to install it, you can just select this and click on next, next again and install. Now it says that installation succeeded on Windows Server 2022. Let me close it. And if I run that command again, you can see now the dynamic content compression is also installed. And if in case you need some more feature and you want to install it again, you can just go to the web server IIS and from here, for an example, you have to install the FTP extensibility. You can select this. Any of the service you need later, you can install it from here. Checkbox indicate that these are installed. The boxes which are not checked, that means they are not installed. And if you require them, you can install it later as well. Let me close this. As you know that IS is a web service and will run on port 80. So if you want to check that port 80 will listen on this server or not, we can just type this command let test net connection on port 80 and we'll hit enter. TCP test succeeded, it is true. So now we can open our website. Let's go to the IIS. From here you can see the internet information service IIS manager. Let's try to browse our default site. This is our default site. And if we click on browse, you can see our IAS page has been loaded. We will explore more on IAS in our next videos. For this video, the IAS installation has been done. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.